April 5th, 7.43 p.m. Grand Tower. PIC meeting room. W what? Mr. Edgeworth. This place is... Is the auction hall? No, it's the meeting room from before. <laughs> How nice of you to drop in, Kay Faraday. She's so happy! Look at her like, yeah. Nice to meet you too. You got some guts. Hey, you guys! Arrest her. Arrest her! Wait, Kay is... And as for the rest of the riffraff, just show them out the door. Oof. This is tyranny! Yes, tyranny, pal! Miles, this is kind of bad! The light of justice shines above me. <laughs> ah! Yeah! <laughs> Why me too? Oh, that's strange! I was aiming for that weak ex-prosecutor. You were clearly aiming at me! Maybe something got in my way, particularly. <laughs> right around to there. Francesca. Just who do you think you're, you're doing here, ex-prosecutor Miles Edgeworth? I do not believe that Kay is the culprit behind this incident. You're just an ordinary man without investigation rights. What you say does not matter. I am Francesca von Karma. I would never stop moving forward. However, you chose to quit. The outcome of a battle has already been decided. I cast away my badge because it became a milestone around my neck. I shall continue moving forward even without it. The path I walk will surely lead to the truth. My actions are driven by that belief, and that is something which will never change. So you're saying that you found a path to the truth? Then show it to me. But if that path proves to be foolish one, you will not survive my whip. Let's go. Francesca logic. The victim used her key card to enter this room with the culprit. Then the culprit stabbed the victim in the chest with the candelabra, killing her. Shouldn't the letter I make it obvious who the culprit is? Of course, the crime uh, scene was right here in this room. The PIC meeting room. The proof is the bloodstain we found here in the meeting room. That settles it, Miles Edgeworth. Miss Von Karma seems really confident, doesn't she? Oh, I see. She's a fiery one, isn't she? I don't mind the fight, the cutie. How about a- oh! How repulsive! Well, Miles Edgeworth, can you break my logic? You truly have no intention of just stopping here. Prove it to me with evidence. Very well. I'll show you, Francesca. The evidence that paves my path. Rubbub. So we're gonna we're gonna be pressing hard on this because like this is the kind of thing that they'll be like the actual evidence. We need hard proof. I swear. Was there nothing suspicious about the security system? The meeting room security is perfect, much like my logic. There is no room for doubt. The logic isn't perfect as you think. In any case, your opinion has not changed. Yes, the victim and the culprit entered the room together. Stabbed. Hold it. 
Did the victim's wounds match up with the candelabra? The victim's chest was pierced in three places simultaneously by a sharp metal object. Is there anything else that could have done such a thing? That should be written on uh, Dr. Young's autopsy report. Are you sure that the murder weapon was a candelabra? Exactly. As for who the culprit is... Hold it. But does that? Do you have anything to confirm the letter was actually sent by K? Are you proposing that it was forged by the writ of a criminal? That possibility was dismissed some time ago. There are no uh, traces of forgery on the letter. Of course, there were no other traces besides K. Faraday, the victim found on the letter. Are you saying you found K's fingerprints on the letter? The only fingerprints uh, we found belong to the victim. In other words, you can't really say that K is the culprit. Didn't I just say that the possibility of forgery has been dismissed? That letter was originally sent by K. Faraday. Therefore, it's only natural to assume that she is the culprit. Or is the crime scene? Mm -hmm. Do you have any proof that the crimes uh, took place in this room? A Von Karma is perfect in every way. Perhaps you forgot uh, that we uh, that when you gave up your badge. That's it. The proof is the blood stain we found here. Is it though? Hold it. Have we determined who the blood actually belongs to? The blood analysis confirmed that it belonged to the victim. Just because the blood stain was found here doesn't mean that uh, it was the scene of the crime. You forget, Miles Edgeworth, that in court, evidence is everything. If you believe this room is not the crime scene, show me the evidence that proves it. As that shows where the crime took place. It may not be in court, but I'll show her the truth. This Von Karma isn't showing any openings. However, there is one fact we know she does not. She does not. And not the only ones who perform scientific investigations. And therein lies the proof. The path to the truth I found. Okay, so it's either the first. Either the, the last or the second to last. Because she's saying this is proof, we need to reprove that. So what refutes it exactly? The blood on the hidden lift. If memory serves me correctly, the blood in the meeting room was found in front of the statue of Lady Justice, was it not? To murder someone before Lady Justice, this culprit knows no fear. I wonder about that. Have a look at this piece of evidence. Blood was found in the storeroom, right above the meeting room. As you can see, there are signs that it was stripped down onto the floor below. And right under the hidden lift is... The Statue of Lady Justice! Then you understand. The murder did not take place here. The killer uh, murdered the victim in the storeroom, then moved the body to this room. But Lady Justice Witness was a coward trying to conceal the crime, and not the moment of the murder. She's smiling? Pardon me. I just remembered a conversation quite similar to this one. As I expected, Miles Edgeworth, such naivety day couldn't possibly be here yeah, at. Just how was Mr. Edge was naive. Ouch! Have you forgotten? Or are you just playing the foolish fool? The amount of blood in the meeting room is clearly greater than in the storeroom. Ugh. 
Please don't just hit me, then ignore me. Ah! Such a large amount of blood. Would it have simply tripped from the floor above? And even if it had, there should have been more blood left behind in the storeroom. The murder could not have occurred anywhere other than the Miss Meeting Room. Hmm. As predictable as always, Francesca. What? The difference in the amount of blood is just as you say. The question is, why does such a difference exist? That issue is trivial. I've already explained it with my perfect logic. In that case, how do you explain the blood that was found in the storeroom? I don't suppose you're going to tell me that it somehow sprayed all the way up there? Like a water fountain? No way. Exactly. It's impossible. In other words, the reason for the difference in the amount of blood is amount of blood in the meeting room and the storeroom are different because yeah the weapon was pulled out here the victim died of a stab wound naturally there would be a significant amount of blood loss that's obvious just from looking at the blood stain but that's so weird she was attacked in the storeroom, but there was less blood found there than- ah! Silence, you third-rate prosecutor. But I'm the best! Do <laughs> you know when you lose the most blood after getting stabbed from a sharp object? Uh, I know! It's when the uh, sharp object is pulled out, right? Precisely. After being stabbed by the candelabra, the body was moved to the meeting room. And then the murder weapon was pulled out right here, in this very room. That would account for the difference in the amount of blood that was left behind. But why would the culprit go through all that trouble? Most likely to give the impression that the murder occurred in the meeting room. Seeing as Miss Crane's uh, keycard was used last night, but based on the time of use, it must have been employed by the culprit to mislead us. In all likelihood, it was the culprit who used the keycard to enter the meeting room. Why would the culprit have needed to do that? Perhaps they fear that the storeroom would be found out during the investigation. If they were involved in the auction, they would not have uh, wanted it to become public. The auction, you say? Perhaps you should go upstairs and see for yourself what items are on display. I'm sure that will allow you to understand what occurred here. Impressive, Miles Edgeworth. You're willing to go that far to protect her. There's something big lurking behind the scenes of this case. Kay simply got caught up in it. You're exaggerating. Am I now? More than anyone, I would think you'd understand the significance behind all this. Why would you, a prosecutor working with Interpol, be involved in a domestic case? Wasn't your objective to crush a certain international smuggling ring? If your search uh, for smuggled goods has led you here, then isn't this feeling I have related to the case? I'm relieved. You haven't lost your touch, even though you've turned in your batch. I've heard about your situation from Scruffy over there. Uh, um, sorry, sir. I just wanted to help out somehow. A wise decision, detective. Francesca, are you the one in charge of this case? Is an Interpol pursuing the black market uh, auction? And what if I am? That's not something you need to know. So you knew about this from the very beginning. You knew the black market auction was being held right here. Hey, hey! Mind if I button? About that gal who turned up dead. You! Hi! 
I ain't done talking yet. Yeah! You ain't changed, uh, changed a lick. This case doesn't need even a fragment of your faulty testimony. What are you saying? Um, ow! Back then, you gave false testimony! Miss Wakama uh, seems to really dislike Galati. I can't say she's fond of her. Why ain't that crane gal one of them uh, PIC members? She's a spitting image of the conductor. I reckon she's. Yeah! She hit me! She hit me again! What is the meaning of this? Answer me, Miles Edgeworth! From Miss Hart's testimony, we obtained a description of what the conductor was wearing. And it matches what the victim, Jill Crane, was wearing. You mean to say, the one who was murdered was the conductor? Miss Von Karma, we have, uh, It would seem that a new fact has just been brought to light. Indeed, I came here to pursue the, uh, of the black market auction. In order to arrest the organizer of the event. In other words, the conductor! If we believe Miss Hart's testimony, then the conductor is already dead. Wouldn't this mean that your investigation has ended in vain? That's right. However, I swear on my name that I will not return empty handed. I challenge you, Miles Edgeworth! Challenge is fine, but why is she readying her whip like she's out? for a victim of her own. You know, I never thought about this, but maybe she doesn't whip Edgeworth as much because they're siblings. Because I know she really cherishes Miles Edgeworth so much. Like, there's a reason why she says it like that, because, like, she doesn't like the fact that, like, he's differing the familial bond with her. Like, she does care in her own Sundari way, and it's really cute, actually. I will concede your argument. The murder occurred in a storeroom, correct? That would mean the culprit is someone who participated in the auction. If that photograph, uh, if that photographer is correct, the victim was the conductor and the culprit was a customer. The culprit waited for the victim in the storeroom where the goods were delivered. Then they stabbed the victim in the chest with the candelabra in the storeroom. That is all. I trust you have no objections. Unfortunately, that is not the case, because there is a hole in your testimony. I suspected of Mr. Edgeworth, I didn't notice anything at all. Well then, please settle this with one blow. Yes, of course. Watch as I crush your logic. What? The murder occurred in the storeroom, correct? That would mean the culprit is someone who participated. We don't know that. The culprit uh, participated in the auction. I'd like to hear your uh, basis for this claim. When I spoke with the staff of this building, not a single one mentioned the storeroom. The storeroom's existence must have only been known to a select few. And that's where the items for the auctions were being stored. I see you understand. Yes, the culprit participated in the auction. We're not 100% sure if, if this is the case. They are just dressed like the conductor the victim is. So you're saying that the victim was the auction's uh, conductor. Right, and the culprit... Hey, ain't, uh, you're the one who told me, uh, told her that just a moment ago? Yes, that's right. However, I was simply making sure her logic is clear. That ain't right. You're doing it wrong. This is the part where you're supposed to say, I done goofed. The culprit was a customer participating in the black market auction. What a tarnation! Now you done it. Don't cover for him. Of course. This is only... If 
this photographer's testimony is indeed true. Can't tell whether they're on good or bad terms. The issue here is the culprit's actions. Waiting for the victim in the storeroom. No. No, that's that's the one. Miss Hot was in the storeroom at the time. Did the culprit really have waited been waiting there? I don't know where uh, she was hiding, but since you've seen it, you must know as well. There are numerous hiding spots in the storeroom. So the culprit was hiding uh, while they waited for the victim to arrive. I believe the crime occurred after the auction ended. After all, the victim was the organizer of the, or of the auction, the conductor. During the auction, or the organizer would have to be in front of the customers the entire time after the auction ended. Please add the, uh, that statement to your testimony. After the auction ended. There we go. Let's go. The victim was killed after the auction ended. Are you certain of that? The victim was the conductor. Uh, that is the only possibility. Without the conductor and the auction uh, couldn't have been held. The auction couldn't have been held. Something seems odd in this testimony. The chance of the candelabra, that's fine. Because she believes that. She just believes. There you go. It's her testimony. Once again, she's gonna be pissed. Objection. As I thought, you are one step behind. What did you say? The victim was not the conductor. Now I have proof. Miss Hart's testimony. That photographer's testimony is not trustworthy. What are y'all saying? I'm going back. Ow! Caesar Idol Chowder! Ow! Francesca, calm down and listen. Miss Hart witnessed a part of the murder. The main point here is that after witnessing the murder, she says the auction continued. That's right! As sure as it can be! Uh, they, uh, all just kept going on shamelessly. Do you think the auction could have continued without someone conducting it? If the victim was not the conductor, the person killed must have been a customer. No! As I said from the beginning, Kay is not the culprit. After all, she herself was attacked by someone and lost consciousness. In which case, that would also make her a victim. The auction could think that an incident occurred. Yes, and the victim was not the conductor, but a customer. That's enough! That voice. Order in the court. The chairman will now enter. My, my. No need to be so stiff. Actually, feel free to call me Blazy. Well then, uh, Blazy, what brings you here? Huh? Well, well. Just wanted to see if my idiot son was working hard, is all. That kind of father-son relationship really helping. I kind of light a fire under him, but it seems I found an unexpected bonus. I think that the criminals have become the talk of the town will be here, of all places. Everyone, restrain the suspect at, the, at once. Please wait, k Day is not the- SILENCE! This is quite troubling, Edgeworth. Didn't I tell you earlier? EIC desires a swift resolution. 
If it's not, we can lose our trust with the public. That'd call us Beast of Time Committee. You know, it's trouble for me as well, that sort of thing. And at my age, too. <laughs> and on top of that, an illegal investigation is not something I could overlook. Have you forgotten? You are no longer a prosecutor. You have lost all your authority. Furthermore, you have aided a criminal in evading the law. Yes, yes, that's right. You're so reliable, Courtney. I am aware of the consequences of my actions. You may punish me as you wish. However, we have found a new suspect. It's the person pictured here. Kay Faraday was attacked by this person and... There is no need for your explanation. Just recently, a red raincoat was discovered in the vicinity of this building. The victim's blood and cherry blossom petals are found on the hood. Cherry blossom petals. Did you mention it? On the viewing platform. Yes. They probably stuck on uh, due to the blood. They were littered around the blood stains. And we received the forensics report on the blood, you know. There's no doubt about it. The person in that photo is the victim. The crane. What did you say? Oh? I impossible! That will completely destroy the foundations of our logic! We have believed the person in the red raincoat was the culprit. Now it turns out that person is actually the murder victim? But wait, if that's the case. Then the prime suspect would be Miss Faraday. You met a person in the red uh, raincoat on the rooftop. Did you not? Yes, I did, but the person in the red raincoat was the murder victim. And Kay Faraday came into contact with that person. Since one of the parties is now dead, what happened next should be clear. Hay was attacked by that person. As the victim, it would be impossible for her to be the culprit. There is no evidence she was attacked. Is there? Furthermore, we must consider the possibility that the victim fought back. It's far too early to come to that conclusion. K is not the criminal. You're wrong. K? That's wrong. E even though I don't want to believe it myself. After hearing about the raincoat, I finally remembered. I only remember a little, but from what I saw that night, Culprit is me. I remember looking down at the person in the red raincoat. Sir Edgeworth, he was me. The culprit was me all along. That can't be right. And why? Why do I have that memory? That person collapsed before my eyes! And called to the pool of blood! How did they do anything? It must have been because I killed her. It is clear to me the validity of Kay Faraday's memory. Didn't you uh, doubt it until uh, just now, pal? Congratulations, Miss Faraday. Your courage will surely allow you to be forgiven. Now, let us rejoice in the blessings of the goddess of love. Objection! Allow me to give my opinion as an international prosecutor. 
Her action as a criminal are... Harry! Arrest Kay Faraday at once! How dare you behave that way before me! You're being too forceful. Further uh, verification is necessary. I'd even go so far as to say this is unlawful! Unfortunately, the law does not side with you. It sides with me, you see. But you know, the beautiful bond between you two has been etched deeply in my heart. That reminds me. You seem to have forgotten one additional suspect. Edgeworth, that's you. What's that, pal? Mr. Bush has, hasn't done anything wrong. I beg to differ. That's right. You see, he's no longer a prosecutor, sadly enough. Your actions have gone too far this time. An illegal investigation and assisting in the escape of a criminal. I cannot even think of you as a former prosecutor. Now, humbly accept your punishment. <laughs> oh yes, that's right. I believe the plan for today was to hold your hearing before the PIC. Why don't we leave the hearing for tomorrow? Even though the result is already crystal clear. You should think long and hard about what you've done. Very long and very hard. Court is now adjourned. Damn. We got arrested. Bad ending has been obtained. Loops. Well, until next time, everybody. Thank you all for watching. Sayonara. Bye-bye.